Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 12 Days of Foundation, day number six. Today I'm going to re be reviewing a powder foundation from One Size Beauty, so be sure to check out the other five days if you've missed them. I've reviewed five foundations so far. There's also been five giveaways, so there will always be a giveaway linked in the description box and timestamps if you'd like to skip ahead. I'll be doing before and after, flash photo, show you how it looks in natural light, and of course how it looks at the end of the day. So be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So today it is all about the One Size by Patrick Starr, the YouTuber, influencer extraordinaire, Turn Up the Base Versatile Powder Foundation. I have this in the shade Medium Dark 5 R, which um, I believe it means it has the kind of more um, red undertone. Let me double check. Yeah, like rosy undertone, sorry. And I fall about halfway uh, in the middle of the shade range, which is great. It comes with 32 different shades. Uh, and this is what it looks like. I've used it quite a bit to set my face, not as much as a powder foundation. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I did prime my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I already moisturized, but I just kind of went in with that primer. And I'm gonna do my under eye concealer first. That's how I do powder foundation. And I'll be using this brush, one of my favorites for powders. Uh, this is a Real Techniques buffing brush. That's how I like to do my powder foundations anyways. Um, you can of course do it how you like, but I like to put down my concealer, powder my concealer, and then go in with my powder. My skin is also very broken out right now. I'm about to get my period. And it's just a stressful time of year, so my skin is reflecting that for sure. <laughs> and I don't actually have the Patrick Star Concealer. I tried to find it in store, but there's no real shade for me. I have, however, reviewed uh, his Balm Foundation, so I'll link that down below. Um, but this formula says, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my face now. Uh, it's vegan, pressed powder, medium coverage, matte finish. Uh, I believe I said it comes in 32 shades. Uh, buttery smooth, buildable medium to full coverage powder foundation, multi-use. And as I mentioned, I do like this to set my face. I love a powder foundation to set my face. Um, whether I'm just going in lightly, it can add a nice matteness, bump up the coverage without adding more liquid onto your face. So it just helps to kind of balance. What's interesting though is on the Sephora website, it says it's uh, for normal dry combo and oily. So recommended for everybody, even though it's saying it is a matte. Uh, it has texturizer, micros, and microspheres to visibly blur pores, fine lines, wrinkles, texture. Uh, rice silk powder to help create a soft focus finish and triple milled micronized purest pigments to create undetectable seamless true color coverage that lasts up to 12 hours and cruelty free definitely warming up on my face do you see that happening there's something about powder foundations if you are like more well versed than I am or you know anything about maybe science how it works, I swear, because this happened with the NYX powder foundation too. It was one that I loved. Such a great um, shade for me, but when I wear it on its own, it oxidizes on my face more than when I just wear it over a foundation. So this is looking, I don't like this. Okay, I guess I won't be leaving the house today. <laughs> Didn't really plan on it. It could be my issue with picking the shade, but this did work when I bought it just to powder my face, but maybe not as a powder foundation. I do think it looks really nice and smooth on the skin. I see the blurring. It's even not too, too matte. Like my skin doesn't look completely flat. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder because it's just, I see it up close. But the shade match is definitely just a little bit warm for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos and then I will be right back. I am gonna use a setting spray today. Because that's what I always, always like without fail for a powder foundation for me. So if that negates this review, I apologize. <laughs> um, but this is the all nighter vitamin C. Uh, and then this is gonna be, this is one of the Tower 28 glosses that I got during the Sephora sale. So I will say in photographs, I think this looks beautiful. It looks really, really good here in my lighting. Uh, obviously, you know, a ring light and stuff helps the case, but it looks really beautiful, especially I think powder foundation can get a bad rep. I'd love to know if you wear powder foundation um, because uh, a lot of people are either intimidated by it, they think it's not gonna look good uh, or whatever it may be, but it really can be beautiful. But sometimes the shade matching, I do find a little bit bizarre, at least for my skin. Um, but then in flash photo, I thought it looked really, really great. Even with the concealer powder under my eyes, it looked smooth, but it didn't look dry or cakey or anything like that. And it doesn't feel that way either. 
It looks a little bit more makeup y just because I tried to build it up to really see where I could get the coverage, but I do think it looks quite nice. So I'm gonna go ahead now and wear this throughout the day and I will check back with you in some natural light. Coming to midday in some natural light, and I think you can see because it's definitely sunnier today finally, um, that the uh, foundation is a little bit warmer than my skin tone. Uh, I think when it goes on, it had a pretty decent color, at least in the pan, but on my skin, it definitely, definitely oxidized. Um, and that, like I said, tends to happen with uh, powder foundations on me sometimes, but I will check back with you this evening. Okay, it is the end of my makeup day. It hasn't been that long since I uh, did my midday check-in, but it has just oxidized so much. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, it's just not the same color as my body that the, my face just looks more red more orange i don't know what it is but there's something about when a foundation is not the right shade and when it's too dark and ready orange in person that it makes me just want to oh, take it off my face immediately and i'm gonna do that why suffer you know what i mean um but what i will say is i do really like this as a setting powder i love to use it over tinted moisturizers over foundations i really like it that way and i don't find that it makes my foundations look darker or oxidized I am a little bit more uh, fair right now going into winter. I haven't been, you know, self tanning, haven't been to the Caribbean, unfortunately. Um, so perhaps this shade might work better when I have a little bit more color in my skin, but I think the warmth in it is really what's kind of um, messing it up. Not necessarily the shade, it's just a little bit too, like I, I always aim for like a golden peachy rosy vibe, but this is like just orangey oxidized. So. I definitely prefer this as a setting powder over a powder foundation. Um, favorite powder foundations, if you're curious, Too Faced Born This Way um, is probably my number one, and that one does not oxidize on me at all. But let me know if you have tried this, let me know what your favorite powder foundations are, and if you would like me to review any of them. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!